Hi guys, 안녕하세요. Welcome back to Saturday School. Um, today we are doing class for week five and I hope everyone had an amazing week. So let's get started. So welcome back everybody. If you're new, um, welcome. If um, you're not new, um, welcome back. And my name is Kim Sarang 선생님. Um, and I'm in charge of the Jinda Leban. So this is the New York Chode Hangul Munakyo. And let's get started. So I know how last week we had a special lesson because it was Chuseok, but then this week we also have a special day to um, commemorate and celebrate. Um, and it is yesterday was Hangul Day. So Hangul Nal. So let me just explain to you what um, Hangul Day is. So the Korean alphabet day known as Hangul Day in South Korea is a national Korean commemorative day marking the invention and the proclamation of Hangul, the alphabet of the Korean language by the 15th century Korean monarch Sejong the Great. So this was when King Sejong, so Sejong, Sejong Daewang created um, our language. So. Korean was spoken, but the Korean written language was in Hanja, which was Old Korean, which was also um, known to be Chinese letters. But like um, our, the King Sejong created our own um, base of language in written form, and we call that Hangul. So um, this, this is the day, it's kind of like a day to remember, to honor, um, the creation of our new alphabet, of our new written alphabet of Korean. So that's just a little disclaimer. So happy Hunger Day, everyone. If you didn't know that, then well, now you know. And if you already knew, that's amazing. Okay, so let's go straight into today's lesson. Today's lesson title is 어떻게 가요? How are you getting there? And this lesson can be seen in your yellow book on page 96. Um, if you don't have the book, it's okay. Just look at the screen. I always put the page on the screen so you could just follow along. Just make sure you have some kind of notebook or a piece of paper to write down your notes. And um, let's just get started. So we see an image on the first page. And the boy says, 주말에 뭐해요? What are you doing on the weekends? Girl says, 친구를 만날 거예요. I'm meeting a friend. 어떻게 만날 거예요? Where are you going to meet? 학교 앞에서 만날 거예요. We are meeting in front of school. 집에서 학교까지 어떻게 가요? How do you get to school from home? Girl replies, 자전거로 가요. I go by biking. So if you didn't already notice today's lesson we're going to talk about different forms of transportation which leads us to the next page so as you can see um the images there are a lot of different forms of transportation now by transportation i mean the how we get from place to place how we go how we come how we go from place to place so let's see the different types of transportations in korean so the first picture we see a bike a bicycle and a bicycle in Korean is called a 자전거. 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 And the next picture we see a car, which is 자동차. And these words are very, I feel like most of you guys should be familiar with these words, but if not, um, make sure to write the vocabulary words down. These are very important. Um, practice writing on a piece of paper. Um, you could, I wrote it for you on the screen, so just look at it. Mm, the third picture we see a taxi. Taxi is easy in Korean is taxi. It sounds almost the same, just pronounced in a very Korean way. So taxi. And the next picture we see a bus. Bus is also bus, like bus, bus. And then we see the subway, which is called chiachol, chiachol. And then, so don't get confused between subway and train, okay? Subway is chiachal and kicha is train. So train is kicha. Kicha. Next we see a picture of a boat. Boat is pe. 
And then plane is pihengi, pihengi. And the next picture we see the bus stop. Now, how do you say bus stop in Korean? It's bus 정류장, bus 정류장, 정류장. And then the bottom pictures, we see two different things. We see far and close. So the first one, far, 멀어요. 멀어요 means far, it's far. And then 가까워, 가까워요 means it's close, okay? 멀어요 is far, 가까워요 is close. Okay, so um, um, try rereading these again or try rewriting it on a piece of paper. You could also rewrite it in your book. Like you could just write it like underneath or just anywhere one more time so you get a practice to be familiar with how to write it and what it is. So let's go to the next page. So there's an example of a reading. So let's just read that. So the first one, the boy says, 서울에 어떻게 가요? Now Seoul is um, South Korea's capital. So um, how are you going to Seoul? And the girl responds, 비행기로 가요. I am going by plane. Now let's see the format of how they asked and answered the question. So the question was asked, 서울에, 서울에 is the place. 어떻게 가요? 어떻게 means how. And then the girl answers, 비행기로 가요. So 비행기 is the form of transportation. 비행기 is plane. So 비행기, and then as you can see on the screen I wrote, add 로 after the method of transportation. So the, me the method of transportation here is 비행기. So we have to add the word 로 after that. So it's 비행기로 가요. 가요 means go. So I'm going by plane. Next example. 영화관에 어떻게 가요? 영화관에 어떻게 가요? How are you going to the movies? The girl answers, 버스로 가요. I'm going by bus. Now, once again, transportation goes first, and then the word 로, and then 가요. 버스로 가요. And then last example. 집에서 학교까지 어떻게 가요? Now, 에서 and 까지. I think we learned this lesson in week two. I'm not sure, but... Um, it was like when we were um, learning how to tell time, so puto and kaji, but this time it's eso and kaji. So eso means from, um, and then kaji means to. So chip eso, eso means from. So from home, and then hakyo kaji, kaji is to. So from home to school, and then otake means how, how do you go? So how do you get to school from home? And then the girl answers, 걸어서 가요. I go by walking. So the form of transportation here are her legs. So she's walking, so 걸어서 가요. Um, so the only exception here where we don't use 로 is um, when we're walking because walking is um, not an actual like form of transportation, it's just walking versus like a car or a plane or a bus. So we just say, we just say, Kyle. Um, okay, so now, so now if we look at the next page, um, we're gonna practice some more examples. So the first picture we see um, a man driving in his car. So which one on the right side would say car. So car in Korean is 자동차. So it would be, let's see, the first one says 배로 가요, and the next one says 기차로 가요. Next one says 자동차로 가요. So we match the picture with 자동차로 가요. Next one. So this is um, a subway, okay? This is not a train, but a subway. Subway in Korean is 지하철. So which one says 지하철? Um, if you decided, I'm just gonna give you guys the answer. Okay, and then the next picture, she's on a boat, so it should be Pero Kayo. Pero Kayo. Which one says Pero Kayo? Okay, first one. And then obviously there's only one choice left, but let's go over it. So this is a this is a train. 
Yeah, it's a train. So train in Korean is kicha. So it's kicha ro kayo. Okay, moving on, next page. 그림을 보고서 보십시오. Now, let's see. Let's read what it says before we fill in the blank. So, 준영이는 자동차. 준영이는 자동차 blank 가요. So, we see the form of transportation and then the state, the sentence ends in 가요. So after the transportation, we learned that we have to add the word lo. So, 준영이는 자동차로 가요. So, 준영 goes by car. And then, 슬기는 지하철로 가요. Same thing. 슬기 goes by the subway. So, 슬기는 지하철로 가요. And then the next one, 집 blank, 학교 blank, 어떻게 가요? So this is a two and, no, this is a from and two question. So from, how do you, um, how do you go to school from home? So 집에서, 에서 is from, and then 학교 to. So from home to school, how do you get there? So we learned that as all means from and then kajik mean to. So 집에서 학교까직 어떻게 가요? 걸어서 가요. So she goes by walking. Number three, 서울에 blank 가요? So this is a question. So we're asking how are you getting there? So 서울 um, is a place. So 서울에 how? 어떻게 가요? And then blank lo kayo. So it's lo. So we have to add how she's getting there. Um, the form of transportation and the picture. She's riding a plane. So what's plane in Korean? It's piengi. So piengi lo kayo. Last one. 공원에 blank. So this is also a question. How is he getting to the park? 공원에 어떻게 가요? That is the question we're asking. So, 공원에 어떻게 가요? And we can see he's riding a bike. So, blank 가요. So, it's bike in Korean is 자전거. So, 자전거로 가요. We always add lo after the form of transportation. So, um, if I'm going too fast, you guys can always pause the video to make sure you have all the correct answers. But um, if not, then I'm going to walk. So hmm, we're skipping the next page because um, it takes a lot of time. And I noticed that these lessons might be a little hard for you guys, um, especially from where we left off. And we're, I'm just going to skip the pages that require a lot of work or too long or complicated, okay? So special special privilege to you guys. We're, we have one less work to do. Okay, now, oh, this is our annual, I mean, not annual, but weekly test that we take. Um, it's the listening portion. So listening, listen carefully to what I say and match the scenario to the correct picture. Now we have these every week and it's like a form of a way to test you guys. So if you look, if you received this blue folder, mine says teacher edition, but yours could just be blue. Um, and if you open it, there's a lot of like different papers and stuff, but in there, there is this envelope and in here is a sticker chart. So it looks something like this. There are stickers here, stickers, and there's an award chart. Now, some of you might already have stickers on your award chart. Mine is blank because well, I'm a teacher, so I didn't award myself, but I should. Um, so after every test or any page that I make you guys do on your own where I'm not helping you guys, um, you reward yourself with a sticker only if you got all of them right. So sadly, if you get one wrong, 
you can't put a sticker, okay? And I'm trusting you guys to be honest about it because I'm not there to check. But, you know, as a form of reward, um, I want you to give yourself a sticker if you get everything right. So I'm going to dive right into it and you guys are going to listen carefully. So I'm going to read you something in Korean and you're going to listen and try to match it with this picture on the right side, okay? Number one. 학교에 어떻게 가요? 학교에 어떻게 가요? 걸어서 와요. 걸어서 와요. Number two. 수영장까지 어떻게 가요? 수영장 앞까지 지하철을 타세요. 2호선을 타고 가세요. I'm going to read it again. 수영장까지 어떻게 가요? 수영장 앞까지 지하철을 타세요. 2호선을 타세요. Number three. 약속 장소에 자전거로 갈 거예요? 아니요. 너무 멀어요. 버스로 갈 거예요. Now read that again. 약속 장소에 자전거로 갈 거예요? 아니요. 너무 멀어요. 버스로 갈 거예요. Last one. 방학에 뭐할 거예요? 제주도로 여행 갈 거예요. 제주도에 비행기로 갈 거예요? 아니요. 배로 갈 거예요. Read it again. 방학에 뭐할 거예요? 제주도로 여행 갈 거예요. 제주도에 비행기로 갈 거예요? 아니요. 배로 갈 거예요. Hopefully you guys heard everything. Um, I'm, I didn't translate what I read in English because then I would just give you the answer. That's basically me telling you what the answer is because I'm translating it. So um, yeah, if you guys did that already, I, let's go over the answers. So the first one, first one was, how are you getting to school? And then karoso, why? Karoso is walk. So first one was walking. Next one, 수영장까지 어떻게 가요? How are you going to the swimming pool? 수영장 앞까지 지하철을 타세요. So 지하철, what is 지하철? Remember, there is a train and subway, but 지하철 is subway. So it's that one. Number three, um, 약속 장소에 자전거로 갈 거예요. Are you getting to your meeting place by riding the bike? And then, 아니요, 너무 멀어요. 버스로 갈 거예요. No, that's too far. I'm going to ride the bus. So, bus. 버스로 갈 거예요. Last one. 방학에 뭐할 거예요? What are you going to do over vacation? 제주도로 여행 갈 거예요. I'm going to Jeju-do. Jeju-do is an island that is um, part of Korea. Very beautiful, even though I've never been there before. Um, and then, uh, 제주도에 비행기로 갈 거예요. Are you going to ride the plane? Uh, and then he says, 아니요, 배로 갈 거예요. No, I'm going to go by boat. 배로 갈 거예요. Okay, so where is my sticker chart? I literally had it two seconds ago. Where did it go? I think I lost. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, I found it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you got everything right, don't forget to give yourself a sticker. Okay. Let's move on. So let me try to find that page again. Um, this is page 103, okay? So this is also an example. Um, I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do it, but I want you guys to try it on your own. Now, if you look at the screen, um, I wrote, all the translation in English, uh, all you guys have to do is answer in Korean in the blank spots of your textbook, okay? So number one, 
서울에서 부산까지 어떻게 가요? 서울에서 부산까지 어떻게 가요? This means how are you going to Busan from Seoul? And the answer is train. So I want you guys to write the answer by saying you're, you're going to go by train. So I wrote Kicha on the side in parentheses for you guys. So you guys would have to write Kicharo Kayo. Okay, Kicharo Kayo. Number two. 주말에 영화 보러 가요. Um, I'm going to the movies on the weekend. Uh, 영화관에 blank. So the question is, how are you getting there? Um, and how are you going to ask that? 영화관에 blank. How are you getting there? 어떻게 가요? Or 어떻게 갈 거예요? Um, now, if you can see, you can. You, it's right here. Uh, if you see where my mouse is, 어떻게 가요? 영화관에 어떻게 가요? You could just copy that. And then answer, 지하철, 지하철로 갈 거예요. I am going by the subway. Uh, number three, 방학에 뭐할 거예요? What are you doing over the vacation? Um, and then... What are you doing over vacation? Um, 서울에 갈 거예요. I'm going to Seoul. And then the question is, how are you getting there? So how do you ask? How are you getting there? 어떻게 갈 거예요? So you guys are going to write there in the blank the question. 어떻게 갈 거예요? So 어떻게 is the spelling is up here. And then 갈 거예요. This, um, is here. Oh no, that's just koyo. So kar koyo. Okay, right here. The end of number two. So the question is, 어떻게 갈 거예요? And then the answer is 비행기. 비행기로 갈 거예요. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what to write, but what you guys write is all on you guys. So figure out. Um, I wrote it all in English in parentheses. So you're just gonna write. It in Korean now. You're gonna answer it and ask the question. So number four, 주말에 공원에 갈 거예요. 친구들과 축구를 할 거예요. I'm going to the park on the weekends. I'm playing soccer with my friends. And then you're gonna ask the question, but in the context of car. So when you say car, you're gonna ask, are you going by car? So how do you say that in Korean? In parentheses, it says 자동차. It gives you it already, but you have to ask. You have to finish asking the question. So. 자동차로 갈 거예요? 자동, 자동차로 갈 거예요? Question mark. 아니요. 자전거 blank. So, 아니요. 자전거로 갈 거예요. 자전거로 갈 거예요. Okay. Um, if you guys did this all, um, I'm going to show the answer soon. But um, you can pause the video and then answer the questions. Okay. Um, now I'm just gonna give you guys the answers. So number one, 서울에서 부산까지 어떻게 가요? 기차로 가요. 기차로 가요. 주말에 영화 보러 가요. 영화관에 어떻게 가요? How are you getting there? 지하철로 갈 거예요. I'm going by the subway. Number three, 방학에 뭐할 거예요? 서울에 갈 거예요. And then the question was, how are you getting there? So, 어떻게 갈 거예요? 어떻게 갈 거예요? And then the answer was, 비행기로 가요. 비행기로 가요. And then, Last one, 주말에 공원에 갈 거예요. 친구들과 축구를 할 거예요. And then the question was, are you going by car? So, 자동차로 갈 거예요? Question mark. And then, 아니요, 자전거로 갈 거예요. 아니요, 자전거로 갈 거예요. Okay. 
Okay, if you got everything right, here's a sticker. There goes the timer. Or bye. Now let's go to the next page. Now, 친구들이 이야기를 해요. 어디에 가요? 친구와 이야기해 봅시다. So I'm gonna be your 친구 for this example for this exercise. Um, let's see what it says. So 슬기는 학교까지 걸어서 가요. That's what it says on the bottom and the word right here where it's highlighted pink. 슬기는 학교까지 걸어서 가요. This means 슬기 walks all the way to school. Uh, okay, now if you look at this map or this pathway of the different paths and different places and like different people of how they get to where. So I'm just gonna um, read or like tell you guys um what is shown here there's no work to do here i'm just going to read it to you guys and you guys can also practice mm, so if you see on the top right there is a boy on the subway right here in the corner top right corner so if he is um he if he wants to go to let's say the zoo? No, no, no. Let's say, oh, he's on the path to go to the ocean. If you go up, so the question would be Pada. So let's say, Pada, so how are you getting to the beach? And then he's going to take the subway. So how do you answer that? And then if you look on the bottom, there's a girl riding a car on her way to the zoo. So zoo in Korean is 동물관. So 동물관에 어떻게 갈 거예요? How are you getting to the zoo? And she's going by car, so 자동차로 갈 거예요. 자동차로 갈 거예요. And then there's a, on the left, there's a girl riding her bike and she's going to the park. So Parking Korean is 공원. 공원에 어떻게 갈 거예요? And then she's riding a bike, so 자전거로 갈 거예요. She's going by bike. 자전거로 갈 거예요. Okay, and let's just practice reading the bottom. Let's, so on the bottom, there's a guy on a train, so that is 지하철로 갈 거예요. And then the girl riding the boat, it would be 배로 갈 거예요. And then the boy on the plane would be 비행기로 갈 거예요. Okay, and another privilege for you guys, we're skipping the last page today, just for time purposes. And voila, we are done. Yay, the end. Thank you for watching. And I hope everybody learned a lot today and make sure to copy the, our important vocabulary words on um, a piece of paper or in your textbook anywhere where you have room. And if you guys don't have access to this, if you didn't receive one, if you look at the link in the description, I put a link um, for the textbook online and you could just follow that, okay? And you could print it or you could just write on another piece of paper. But if you don't wanna do that, I always, post pictures of each page on in my video so you can just look along with that and just write on a notebook or a piece of paper okay so remember yesterday was and yeah we learned about different transportation methods and how we say how we're getting to places and how we're getting there okay so um thank you guys for watching and see you guys all next week bye